Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to build another full stack applications and here we are using Next.js. So in my previous videos we have built a movie applications and then one application I built with a T3 stack which is using which is a node staking application which was talking about how we are integrating Prisma, Next.auth, Next.js, TRPC and all. In the last uh, video we talked about a simple movie app that is talking about the basic uh, I mean in-depth concepts about Next.js how to create layouts how to have a loading and error state and then having these all different routes where we are loading a server components now in this video we are going to build another application but here my stack and approach will be a little different here this is my MongoDB and still we are using Prisma so this is our Prisma layer you can see okay and we have the same set of components if you talk about that uh, what all components we have this is the next auth okay and using next auth we are going to build a simple authentication i hope now you already familiar with the next auth because i have used next auth in many of my videos so this is the the whole stack and what we are going to build is simple next.js pages server side pages which is going to interact with the, the next auth for the authentication next auth will provide uh, multiple options for the authentication like you can also log in with a github or log in with the credentials so in the prisma we will have this user table which is going to allow you to create a user user sign up and then this prisma is going to access this mongodb because prisma can have the connections with the mongodb I struggled in setting up a MongoDB because Prisma needs a replica set enabled for the MongoDB. So if you're talking about the Postgres and MySQL, there is no uh, issue. You can create a simple containers and you can connect to that. So while setting up the Docker container for the MongoDB, I need to enable the replica set. Then only this Prisma, trans Prisma will allow you to connect to the MongoDB because Prisma is using transactions internally and for that it is asking us to have a replica set enabled in the mongodb docker container so that is a little tricky part otherwise in the mongodb we are going to have these collections like user collections and all where a user blog post and all where using this next js apis we are going to once you are authenticated so what happens is once you are authenticated you should be able to access things right so let's say i am authenticated i have my search session then you will just go if your session exists then it, it will allow you to access the api routes and with the help of this api routes so i'm, I'm just talking about next uh, js api routes and with the help of those api routes you should be able to make the call to the prisma and prisma will do the read and write in the mongodb a same simple architecture right and we are not going to write much code here in the last two videos we have done in-depth discussion about all those concepts so i'm going to give you code walkthrough in this video so let's do it together and let's try to understand how you can fix this mongodb connection in the prisma orm so you don't face the same challenge if you are watching this video i'm going to give you the solution so i also face this problem i have to have this another docker compose uh, yml file I will just rename it this is my existing docker compose yml file okay 01.yml and this is my current so what happens is because we are using prisma and prisma is actually an orm that will help you to connect to any database mongodb postgres mysql sql or nosql database Particularly with the NoSQL MongoDB database, you need to have a replica set enabled on the same post and port and it will allow you to connect to this root root user. Okay, and here is our blog applications. I have covered all the application in this monorepo. If you look into this code base, it's not new. If you are if you are watching my playlists, so in these applications, I put all this blog app. Okay, this blog app has this nice env file and in this env we have put this is the database url so what it is saying is root is the username root is the password localhost 27017 database name anything auth source equal to admin because we are trying to access trying to log in into database using admin credentials 
and then using docker compose uh, environment that is important it is spinning up uh, the docker container for us from the image from the docker file and i found this solution uh, on the prisma documentation only because people are struggling while connecting to the the mongodb locally using docker container so this was the final solution provided by this guy i think they are, this is something available from the the prisma only prisma docs so this is the part you need to put in the docker compose replica set host init username password create your docker file so this is docker because docker image mongodb image we are going to build from this docker file and this docker file is using mongo4 and then it is just initializing these replica set and registering this uh, host replica host on the replica set and then it is also creating user with this uh, admin user admin password and with the role root so that on that replica set enabled mongodb we should be able to log in with the root credentials okay that is the the thing which this docker file is doing and when you do docker compose up so uh, you will do docker compose up like that and then this will become your url that you are going to put in your env file so that is the final solution i also spent some time in setting up the replica set because no prisma won't allow you without uh, replica set in the mongodb case of, in case of mongodb so enable the replica set so you just need these files docker compose environment the docker file and obviously docker compose up once the container is up you can just use this url to connect to the database okay mongodb username root password root local host 27017 is the port database name and auth source is admin because i have seen a lot of people are facing this issue they are either uh, connecting to the remote uh, remote uh, docker uh, instance if you want to set up this locally then this is the right way of doing it and i also have that same in the code if you see i have this docker file somewhere this is my docker file and this is my docker compose environment and when i did docker compose up it was able to create the container for me because earlier i was facing this issue you might have seen this uh, if you read the message connection failure unable to find the dedicated server with the replica set and all this is talking about the same issue you will get the big message coming you can see this unknown server selection timeout uh, this is the error you which you will receive and you, you will get mad if you're not able to solve it so i'm just giving you the right away direct solution if you are using mongodb so we have used sqlite we have used postgres we have used now we are using mongodb because i wanted to talk about each and every different flavor of uh, different database now if you are using mongodb then the provider will be different in the prisma schema file that you always need to remember so inside application blogs we have this prisma scheme so here you can see my provider is a mongodb and inside my uh, models i have i will be using object ids because uh, we are talking about no sequence and without doing much changes you should be able to create your models this is a user model and this is the listing model so this is like a blogs or uh, blog application where you are providing the reference to the user right so here you are attaching a relationship user relations with the user id which is a column which is an object id okay reference to the id on delete cache page okay and this is the user table which is default auto implemented map is underscore id this is the object id so same thing either you use a postgres or you use a mongodb these systems and uh, these schema models works in the same way okay so this is how we are doing it now what we are doing it's a simple blog application i will i will be talking about which is using uh, this uh, next auth for the authentication and it contains some api routes api routes to create blog update blog create user update user because we are also going to have a create user right because uh, if you talk about the next auth using next auth you can log in with uh, existing social providers like login with a google github but it also allows you to log in with the username password where you can allow user to register first and then log in okay 
so our mongodb container is up and running that is one of the good thing and now i don't see these issues so i'm running somewhere here okay now how should we look into the code if you look in this is the next js 13 app and this is the prisma schema you don't need to run the migrations and all because this is the no sql populate all the environment variables next auth secret next auth url all these things and then app directory here i'm going to talk about the apis first and next auth inside next auth you can see i have route so here is my next auth options we can see callback session so still i'm using a jwt strategy i'm not saving my session on the database I'm still using this Prisma adapter but my session is not being stored on the database we are just generating the token using this using this JWT strategy and that token is being used as a cookies at the client side to manage the session this is the next auth secret and here is the provider we can also log in with the github or uh, this is the credential provider that means I'm using username password based authentication and it contains this authorize function which is doing same thing here we are just doing a find one unique uh, creating the hash password comparing with the hash password and if it is everything good return the user same thing with uh, the register because registry is another route where we are creating a hash password and creating the user in the database I'm not typing the code I'm not explaining each and every aspect because I have covered these things many times in my previous videos it is all about in if you look into any of my previous videos which talks about next talk we are already doing it the, cred the credential provider and a social providers this is a simple next author routes which covers almost everything okay all the authentication options providers callbacks and all and here our ex uh, additional APIs like Bob blogs because I'm going to write blogs so here you can see first of all we need to get the current user and if you are creating a blog so you will get a name and descriptions from the body and then you will just create a listing and pass the user id so here we are using prisma right prisma is actually a orm for the mongodb and uh, we can see we are not maintaining any mongoose model and all which we used to do with the node.js prisma is making things simpler when you connect to any database sql or nosql and similarly we are just doing prisma.model.create so it is providing a unified methods create create is same method we are using either you use uh, postgres mysql or mongodb right so here we are creating a block similarly blog id here we are like updating deleting or uh, fetching that particular blog like based on the blog id which we are getting in params blog id so we got the current user we are checking the blog exists then return it updating the blog id with the new data so we got the data using request.json here if the current user is not there just return the error we got the blog id that should be of type string and here we are updating using simple prisma query update where id equal to blog id and data is this so update uh, that particular record in the mongodb with this data where the id is blog id simple right so similarly register and all and then you can just create these pages this is all about prisma db db how we are creating a prisma db client and we have some pages like login and register right here we have just a simple form username password and when you are submitting the form we are doing the same thing here we are using credential provider because you are passing username password and on the callback if uh, everything is okay you will be you will just refresh the page and we will show the user session created and we are just using this router and also like basic form which you can just write using html form and then add these handlers and when you do a submit this is what we are doing on submit we are using credential provider sign in is a coming from next auth redirect false because we are going to stay on the same page once you are logged in similarly register here we are doing on submit and we are hitting actually a next JS API routes API register and we are passing the whole payload payload contains like email username password and once you are done just refresh the route and this is how we are capturing the values from the form it's like simple example 
so this is how you build uh, the end to end applications here my more objective is how this next auth works and how we can use uh, prisma to connect to a different data source either it is a postgres uh, mysql you just need to manage the schema file put your models like listing model user model and then provide your data source and keep your data source up and running through the docker container or some other remote url so you should be able to connect to the uh, simple uh, connection connected to the database and then you can access the apis okay i mean this is a simple blog implementation where you can just easily write the apis we are not going into the demo example and all it's all about showcasing the code is there if you want to hands on and practice how this prisma is connecting to the mongodb and how this whole next auth is working end to end then you can just explore uh, this code further